morning, JD. Here are your announcements for today. This week's Positivity Project character trait is appreciation of beauty and excellence. Cultural Connections Club is having a meeting Wednesday, April 21st. Anyone interested can join. The Google Classroom is SWQ36H2. Text NSC36 to 212-818-1200 to vote for JDHS sophomore Anka Chirini in the ESU National Shakespeare Competition People's Choice Award. You may only vote once and additional votes will not be counted. Voting will close at midnight on Friday, April 23rd and text charges may apply. Please do not call in. Your vote will not count and your call will not be returned. Kent Club is featuring Shakira Kemp on Thursday, April 22nd for the Sankofa Speakers Series. Each session will be virtual and held in a large group room, R17 at 2.15. If you plan on attending, please RSVP by filling out a Google form. The link is in the bio. Good luck to the mock trial team and the New York State Regionals this week. On Tuesday, the plaintiff team will take on the representative of Chenango County. And on Thursday, the defense team will take on the representative of Tompkins County. Winning teams will advance to Saturday's regional finals in order to determine advancement to the New York State Finals. Good luck, everyone. That's all for today. Have a great day, JD. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Hi, welcome back to Meals and Lomo. And Paige. How was your weekend, Paige? I had a good weekend. Did you? That's good. Yeah, I had a pretty decent one, too. Good. And I'm so excited for this upcoming week because we have so many delicious lunches lined up. On Monday, there will be Sloppy Joe's on a whole grain bun with barbecue baked beans and raisins. On Tuesday, there will be pasta with meat sauce, tossed salad with dressing, and fresh fruit. Then on Thursday, there will be turkey and gravy with seasoned corn and mashed potatoes. Shout out Mr. Hartley, we know you love that meal. Um, and then on Friday, it's Pizza Friday once again, there will be assorted homemade pizza with steamed broccoli and chilled fruit. We hope you all have a great weekend. And as always, enjoy, enjoy your, your lunches. lunches. Hello and happy Earth Week. My name is Kira Paletko and I'm the current JDHS Environmental Club Secretary here to talk to you about why clean energy is important. First and foremost, energy is a climate issue. In 2018, 75% of greenhouse gas emissions were caused by the burning of fossil fuels, proving that burning fossil fuels is a huge contributor to climate change. When we have two types of energy sources, fossil fuels and renewables, we like to lean towards renewables because of their lesser impact on the climate. Fossil fuels are also horrible for human health as they cause deadly air pollution and water contamination and they also release chemicals like formaldehyde that lead to childhood leukemia. In order to reduce our carbon footprint, we can switch over to some of the renewable energy sources in central New York. We've got solar power, wind power, and hydropower in central New York, and I'll go into a little bit more detail about each of the different forms. Solar panels are the main source of power for solar power, which absorb the light from the sun's rays and release energy we can use to power homes, cars, and appliances. Wind power is generated slightly differently as turbines spin by the force of the wind and that generates energy. Turbines can be found on wind farms in both the ocean and on land. Hydropower is the most popular form of renewable energy in New York State and it works similarly to wind power. Turbines spin underwater by the constant force of running water which generates enough energy to power homes, cities, and towns. A few examples of renewable energy in upstate New York are down on this slide below. Solar panels are found all throughout central New York and can be added to homes, buildings, and backyards. Syracuse is also a solar farm hotspot with plans for community solar farms in the works. Wind turbines are also found on large farms, hill signs, or in backyards in upstate New York. As of 2020, the current amount of wind power in the U.S. is enough to offset the energy needed for 29.5 million average American homes. Hydropower within New York State is one of the most popular forms of renewable energy as 26% of all New York State power is generated from hydroelectric plants. Syracuse and Oswego are both towns with energy plants. Thank you very much for listening and if you'd like to learn more, please feel free to check out the sources on this doc. What is the UN? The UN is an international organization that works to find solutions for global issues. But why should I do JD and UN? Well, not only do you learn leadership skills, you also learn how to collaborate with others in a fun environment. What do I have to do? 
All you have to do is write a paragraph about the topic. That's it? That's it. When is JDMU1? May 8th from 9.30 to 1.45 on Zoom. Where can I find out more information about JDMU1? You can visit the website below to find out more information regarding the conference and contact details. So should I come to JDMU1? Yes! Come to JDMU1! Oh man, I'm so hungry. I really wish I could have a Krispy Kreme donut on April 27th. What's wrong, buddy? I just really want a donut. Hurry up! Get him a donut! <laughs> you heard the man. Order your Krispy Kreme donuts all this week for $8 a dozen. You can order them in the cafeteria during your lunch, from any sophomore officer, or from Miss O in room B10. And the money is due on the day that you order. Pick, Pick it, it up, up in the main gym foyer. I can't wait till April 27th. Francesca, look at these t-shirts. Oh my goodness, they're so cool. I wonder what they're for. Guys, you gotta get one. JDHS is back in action. Wow. It's like a concert t-shirt that commemorates everyone coming back to school. And it's only $15. That's a bargain, Mr. President. And they're selling them on the cafeteria starting on Monday? And I can order online with a QR code? Wow. I'm telling you, it's the real deal. Thanks to Mr. Hartley for this. That's all I'll get one. All right. Yeah! yeah.